Let's give your Autogen agents access to any MCP server. Today, you'll see how easy it is to set up a simple team of agents as I walk you through the process of setting up the Autogen MCP extension, which lets your Autogen agents communicate directly with any MCP server. Here's a quick overview of the setup. We're gonna need four packages for this project. The first one is Autogen Agent Chat, and this lets us quickly define our agents. Then we're gonna set up Autogen OpenAI extension, since we're gonna be using GPT-4.0 for this example. Now, if you're using another LLM, you can obviously use another extension, but we're gonna stick with OpenAI. Then we're gonna need the Autogen MCP extension, and this is the official extension which provides MCP protocol support. And finally, we're gonna need the MCP server fetch. And this package is a simple MCP server that provides a basic fetch tool, which pulls content from the web. In my previous video, we built an MCP server running in a Docker container using the c -sharp MCP SDK. And this server exposed two tools, echo and reverse echo. Both tools will return whatever text they receive. However, the reverse echo will reverse the characters before returning. We're gonna be using the same server that we previously built using c -sharp and the MCP server fetch today. If you missed my previous video, especially if you're a c -sharp developer, the link is in the description below. So we're gonna stick with Docker for this project as well. And I have this Docker file here that sets up a Python environment and installs necessary packages. I'm also using Docker Compose to manage this project, which depends on the MCP c -sharp server we previously built. If you're not using Docker, you don't need to worry about this since you can just download all packages and set up everything directly on your host machine. Now, since I'm gonna be using GPT-4.0, I need access to the OpenAI API. And I've already set that up by creating a .n file and I've added my OpenAI API key. Cool, you know that AI agents need tools to perform tasks and MCP standardizes how models interact with these tools. It's often compared to a USB-C connector, just as USB-C replaced dozens of different cables with a single standard, MCP replaces the need for custom integration with every service. This means that we can build an MCP server that exposes some tools like connecting to a company database or calling an external API, and then any AI agent that supports the MCP standard can immediately discover and use these tools. And if you're new to the MCP concept, I've got a blog post that breaks it down. The link is in the description if you wanna quickly get up and running on how it all works. All right, so let's go through the code. First, I have this async input function to handle user input. We're gonna use it with our user proxy agent to grab whatever we type into the term. Next, we'll set up our model. I've chosen GPT-4.0 for this app. So we're gonna create an OpenAI chat completion client. Our OpenAI API key is already in the .n file we created and Docker is gonna load it for us, so we're good to go. We're setting up two different MCP servers here. The Python based one, which is the fetch server and our c -sharp MCP server running in its own Docker container. Both use the standard in standard out server params class because they communicate over standard in and standard out transport. The Autogen MCP extension also fully supports the new streamable HTTP transport. The older SSC transport is now deprecated in the MCP standard and has been replaced by streamable HTTP for remote connections. If you're using a server with either of these transports, you'll configure them using the SSE server params or the streamable HTTP server params, both of which require a URL instead of a local command. Now we'll use the MCP server tools helper function from the Autogen MCP extension. This is a great shortcut because it takes our server parameters and automatically creates all the tool adapters our Autogen agents need. I'll run this function twice, once for each server we set up and then we'll pass those tools directly to our agents. So this is our first agent, and I'm gonna call this one Assistant. I'm also gonna pass the c -sharp tools we grabbed from our c -sharp MCP server. I also need to specify the model client, which is GPT-4.0 that this agent uses. Then I can specify a system message. In this case, I'm saying your helpful assistant that writes engaging tweets. Your only rule is to provide your response reversed. Essentially what I'm saying here is that I want this agent to use the tool called reverse echo from the C-sharp tools that are provided here. So this is coming from our C-sharp MCP server. 
Next, the second agent, let's call it Fetcher. And this guy will use the tools provided by the MCP server fetch MCP server to fetch information from the web. And just like the previous agent, I'm going to add a model client here and a system message, which is your helpful assistant that can fetch information from the web. Now I'm setting up a user proxy agent, which represents me, the user during agent execution. This means that the input that I enter in the console will be relayed to the other agents using this user proxy. Here, I don't need a model client since an LLM won't be used. And to grab the input, I'm using the function we saw earlier, async input. All right, so here I'm creating a termination condition and I'm setting up the autogen team. And for this team, I chose the selector group chat, which requires a model client. However, depending on your use case, you may choose something else. I have a complete video where I dive deep into the different team types that the autogen framework supports. The link is in the description. If you're just getting started with Autogen or if you're confused about the different team types, make sure to check it out. Okay, so we passed the model client. We have our team, assistant, user proxy, fetcher, and our termination condition. Finally, I can run the team and test it out in my terminal. So let's do that. So I'm gonna do docker compose run app. Okay, we can see successfully received MCP tools, which means we have no issues. So I'm gonna say, tell me what getting started.ai is all about in a couple of words and reverse your response. Okay, so first we can see the user proxy with my prompt, then the fetcher immediately picks up the URL from my prompt and it's calling the fetch tool from the MCP server. Uh, next, we can see the tool execution event here, and we have a result, which is from my blog. Um, okay, HTTPS, blah, 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 that's fine. So it's done calling this tool. Next, we can see that the assistant comes in, and it's also calling a tool here from the C-sharp MCP server, which is reverse echo. So it has the message, which is getting started, simplifies AI with guides on self-hosted private LLMs, etc. Okay, it's calling reverse echo, and reverse echo is going to, well, reverse this message. And as you can see, this is the summary message. The text value here is reversed. You can now see how easy it is to link your Autogen team with any MCP server and get your team to do way more things that they can normally do. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.